Hello farmers, I'm going to quickly show you how to grow, harvest, and sell parsnips. If this video helps you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for that algorithm and don't subscribe to me. Okay, time to set up that field for 100% yield bonus. What, the one main thing you need to know actually is that you cannot get 100% yield bonus unless you are planting over another previous crop because you have to mulch it. Now, you don't have to do everything I'm doing here in the order except for the mulching, okay? We have to mulch first. So let's go ahead and look at our heat map. Sorry, the saving real quick. Uh, we, what I like to do is I like to turn them all off. All right, so let's just click deselect all. All right, and then we're gonna go through one at a time. Unfortunately, it's not in order here, so we're just gonna start with mulched. When it is mulched, you're gonna see a little bit of purple, okay? So we're gonna start with this mulcher right here. Here it is on the purchase menu, sole cultivation, mulcher. You can buy whatever you want, buy like this one. This looks like an airplane and the other one is like super expensive. This has a good width to it. Let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. We're just going to lower the mulcher with V. Um, when you press lower, it also unfolds it too, which is nice. So, and then you just gotta press B to turn her on. And there we go, we are mulching. And if we look at our heat map, we'll see it filling in nicely. All right, so let's go ahead and mulch the whole field. Okay, so everything is all mulched up. As you can see here, it'll all be purple. Now we can just go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. All right, so now we probably need to plow. So we can see that it's red needs to be plowed. Also needs to be limed, but I like to start with plowing first. Now I'm gonna talk about plowing real quick. We're gonna be using this thing right here. Okay, I'll show you where it is in the purchase menu. So we got to go down to plows. Now, it's really important, don't buy these things. Don't buy any of these. Buy the subsoiler, which does the same thing as the plow. The thing with these things is they create, they're for creating new fields. That's what I would use them for, okay? So the subsoiler doesn't create new fields, but still plows like anything else, okay? So you want to just go ahead and buy one of these and then go ahead and attach it and plow away. Okay, so I got it connected. We are going to go ahead and unfold it with X. Oh, it's actually, it was already full. It was already unfolded for me. So let's just lower it then. And then we just need to drag it along. Okay. And it's going to reveal stones and it's going so, and it's going to make it look like this, which is okay. Um, so you can see it's going away now and also it will still stay mulched even though you plow it. So that's okay as well. So let's just go ahead and go through and plow this whole field. Okay, so everything's plowed, but that reveals rocks everywhere. As we can see, there's now rocks everywhere after you plow. Now let's quickly get rid of the plowing. We now see all the red is gone, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's head over to stones. All right, so we can see the stones that need to be picked up. Now you can push the stones back in if they're yellow, okay? But unfortunately, the the uh, subsoiler that you use... Um, Oh, I put it over there. The When you use that subsoiler, it reveals a lot of the orange stones or the red stones, which have to be picked up with this thing right here, the stone picker. Okay, let's just quickly look at the uh, soil cultivation section again. There's the stone picker. There's only one version. So go ahead and pick it up. We got to go ahead and pick up all these stones. Okay, so I got the stone picker on me right now. We're just going to lower it. All right, and then we're going to turn it on with B, all right, and then we're just gonna go through again and pick up all these stones. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, you'll see the percentage amount of stones I got. It's at 5% now, and I'm slowly picking up more stones. Okay, and then what if you, uh, you're gonna fill up eventually with stones and you're gonna have to get rid of them. So if we just go through this section here and we look for stones, Here's stones right here. We'll be able to see that we can get rid of the stones at the cement factory. So we just click on that, tag it, and then we can look through our map. And there's the, where we get rid of the stones just over there. Okay, so let's pick up all these stones now. Okay, so all the rocks are picked up and we can now move on to the next step, which is liming. So we're gonna go ahead and click in needs lime. We can see that it does need some lime. So I'll quickly get out of uh, my truck here and I'll show you what I got. I got this thing right here. All right, along with some lime. Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. 
Okay, so you're going to find this thing in yield improvements under fertilizer spreaders. All right, I got this one right here because it does lime. I don't know of any others that do lime. You really got to look for this icon right here. And then we're just going to head to consumables and you got to buy lime to fill up, fill it up with. And you can just fill it up at... Uh, at the uh, shop once you buy the lime there you know always take the lime over to your farm and then fill it up there but i just usually fill up the shop every time okay so let's get inside we're going to unfold the fertilizer spreader with x okay and uh then we are going to turn it on with b and this one's a nice easy one you could see exactly where you are spreading it so let's just go ahead and move straight a little bit and then turn it off and let's look at the map need lime you can see now that section doesn't need lime anymore so let's go ahead and do the whole field okay so i got the whole place limed you know when it's you don't see any more of that light blue now let's talk about fertilization now there's two kind of states of fertilizers the 50 percent which is the light and then the dark blue which is the full 100 percent now there's multiple ways for you to get to 100 percent i'm going to tell you the easiest way in my opinion is manure all right, I'm going to show you two ways, actually. So I got the manure spreader. Let's get out of the vehicle quickly. I'll show you it here. And then let's go into the buy section, and I'll show you the fertilizer spreaders. Is that what it was? No, 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 it's not that. Manure spreader, sorry. All right, any of these is fine. All right, they just, it, the only thing that changes is the width that they uh, spread them. Now, what's interesting about manure spreaders, it can give you that 100% fertilization without adding any other fertilizer. All you have to do is activate the double application rate, um, which I think is just comma. If you look under, uh, turn on manure spreader on the left-hand side, you can see activate double application rate. Let's go ahead and press it. Now it says activate normal. All right, so you want to keep it on that. Let's go ahead and turn on. Oh, we need to unfold it first. Unfold with X. All right, and then turn it on with B, and then we're just going to start applying. Now, when you do double, it will take longer. You see how slow I'm moving? Okay, so let's just go ahead and turn it off and turn it back to normal rate, and then turn it on again. And then we move a little bit faster, not a whole lot faster, but let's go ahead and turn it off, and then I'll show you. As you can see, that's the one I did double. That's the one I did single. Now, let's grab another fertilizer option, and I'll show you that too. Okay, this is the next thing we're gonna look at is this liquid fertilizer sprayer. I'm gonna show you where that is. So we're in just normal sprayers. I think it's this one that I bought. Yeah, and it, you'll know it's the right one when it's got this icon here, okay? Now to buy the consumables, you can go ahead and go into here and then you'll see uh, liquid fertilizer right there. Now, apparently it is more expensive than manure. So you can take or leave it, but it is much faster to spread this than it is to spread the manure on the double. But either way, you're going to have to spread manure. So it's really kind of up to you how much you really want to do. So let's go ahead and unfold it. You can change its work width by pressing Control and then Z. And then if you look on the bottom there, that green bar, it's just changing the amount that gets sprayed out. So if I press B right now to turn it on, oh, it hasn't unfolded yet. All right, so press B to turn it on. See, it's only doing that middle there. So if I spread it out again, there we go. Now it's doing this. And then I spread it out again to its full width. And there we go. Let's press B. Let's move forward. And there we go. Now we're fertilizing. All right. Let's turn it off again. I'll show you the map. And as we can see, it's only going to give you that one state of fertilization. So you could just use this thing first and then do manure afterwards. It's up to you what product you got a lot of. So let's go ahead and get this fertilized. Okay, so we're all fertilized except for a spot here or there that I missed out on. Also, what I thought was kind of interesting is that these are the two spots that I double manured and they have different textures than when I spray a manure, which I, I thought was weird. But that's okay, it doesn't really matter. If we get out of our car, we can actually see that if we look on the right hand side uh, field info that it's 100% fertilized. All right, so we're good to go. Um, now we're just gonna look through the rolling. Uh, so where is rolling? Right there. So we gotta check and see if we need it. Sometimes you don't need it, and right now I don't need it, but sometimes also for rolling, that there's certain seeds that you plant that require rolling afterwards. So make sure after you plant your seeds, you come back and check and see if it needs to be rolled or not. Rollers can be found in yield improvements. There it is there. By either one you feel like, it's just the size difference, that's all that's going on in that spot and it's very easy to use. Okay, as you can see, I got a yield bonus of 100%. That's what we're looking for. 
Uh, make sure you go back after you plant your crop. I've just planted my crop. Make sure you go back and check and see if it needs rolling, okay? Because there's a lot of crops that need rolling after you plant them. And I just did a little bit of rolling. And as you can see, I got 100%. The ones that aren't rolled is at 97%. Okay, so it's time to start planting the seeds. I'm using this thing and I'm going to attach it to this thing. I'll show you where to get it. And by the way, I did discover something kind of screwed me up in the beginning because it wasn't working for me. I'm going to go into the heat map. We're going to go to growth. Just make sure it's cultivated. Actually, you know what? I forgot to cultivate it. There's one strip. All right. So get yourself a cultivator. I think it is in yield improvements. Is it in there? No, no, no. It's in soil something. Soil cultivation. Duh. All right. So there's the cultivators right there. Get any of these and make sure you use it or the cedar that you use to plant the parsnips doesn't work. Okay, so I just cultivated that strip and I am now using this cedar here. Let's quickly look at it in the purchase menu. Um, it's in vegetable cedars, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, vegetable planters. All right, so you have the bigger options, but you have to do um, passes with each one of these in order to use them. But they just give you a wider berth. Or you can get these two things and they attach together and you just do it in one go. All right, that's what I'm going to show you because I think it's easier. Um, they'll buy this thing. Make sure you get the three-point attachment, okay? That lets you connect them. So get that three-point attachment. You'd see it's on there now. I already got it in the back of my tractor. It fills up with any random seeds. Uh, you can just use any regular seeds. Um, let's lower it with V. And then go into the second part. We're attaching it. All right, so now we got two different... Uh, things in the back and we can control them separately. So if you look in the top left hand corner, you can see I'm controlling the back one right now because that's the one that's lit up beside the tractor. So it says turn on cedar. Let's turn on the cedar. Uh, let's make sure we select the right. Actually, we got to have the cedar off in order to select different uh, things. We're selecting the parsnips, turn the cedar on, and then we are going to press G. We can see it's green in the top left hand corner as well. And now we're going to turn that thing on the ridge former with, uh, with B. All right, now you can see they're both green, so it means they're both on. And then we should be able to just go through, and it's going to make a ridge as we go through. And now we know it's working, and it's planting. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant as much as we want. Okay, so I've planted a couple rows. And you just got to go over there and look in the right-hand side and just make sure that it doesn't say weeds growing. If weeds are growing, then you should bring a weeder with you and go through it, uh, especially if it says it's growing because you can take it out early. Uh, before it grows but you can still get it if it's small but when it gets medium or so you actually have to use herbicide uh it should be right here in yield improvements weeders any one of these will work um, but if they grow into medium or large weeds you got to use a sprayer and then you got to use herbicide uh, right here okay which is fine it doesn't affect your yield if you have to use it you have to use it but if you want to keep that yield bonus 100%, make sure you keep an eye on your crops. No weeds are there. Okay, so I went to sleep for a little bit. And now it's August. I started growing in April. And now I should be able to harvest in August. So it's if you grow in May, you should be able to harvest in September. All right, so this is what I'm using to harvest. This thing right here. Now, this is what I recommend to use, especially if you're playing solo. Let's quickly go into the harvesters. It should be in vegetables. Vegetable harvester. All right, so this thing here, and actually, sorry, it's this thing right here. Don't use any of these other things because none of them have uh, capacity to hold any of the vegetables, even the big, big expensive one. You have to drive alongside it at the same time uh, with an AI or with a friend in order to harvest these vegetables. But if you buy this one, you can at least store them and then harvest them off to the side. I'll show you. So here it is here. All right, this is the only one I recommend buying. Um, so we are going to just... Uh, turn it on with B and I think all we got to do is lower with V all right and then we should be able to just drive through it and it's only going to pick up one or two rows at a time but you can see it should start filling up any moment now yeah there we go okay so we're harvesting good stuff let's harvest it and then I'll show you where you can sell it or use it <clears throat> All right, so they're all harvested up. Well, not all harvested. I've filled up the tanker. And now one thing is that you can't really fit this into a big trailer. So I got myself a smaller trailer. I'll show you which one I bought. Um, so go to trailers. I think I bought this one. All right. But either way, you just got to get yourself something that's smaller that you can fit into. Because I have a green trailer over there and I could never, I couldn't get this thing to fit. So we're going to press O so it goes up a little bit. 
And then we're going to drive alongside it. Okay, mind my driving real quick. All right. Drive alongside it, and it should automatically start piping out into the trailer. Nice. Okay, so what do you do with all this? One thing I know is that your pigs do like it. They, they uh, eat root crops, and I believe uh, parsnip is a root crop. So if you just, this is a pig pen right here. You could just take it and dump it right in this spot. All right, so press I, and then we're dumping. All right, let's stop. I don't want to use all of it yet. I want to show you where to sell it uh, as well. But if we go into our animals, we go to pigs, uh, pig sty, and we'd see we just put a little bit of root crops in there. there. That's it right there, okay? So they do take root crops, and I don't think anybody else does, though I don't have a horse uh, thing with me right now. I should put one down. All right, so let's sell it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this chart here. It's in alphabetical order. There's parsnips there. We're going to find out who sells it and who's closest. This is the distance and this is the price. Now, really, you should put it in a silo and wait till January and then go sell it. All right. But I'm just going to sell it now just to show you. Um, so I picked that one and then we're going to tag it so it shows up on the map. So now I know where it is. It's in that direction over there. And also it flashes on the map. There we go. So let's go over there and sell it. Okay, one more thing before you sell it. If you go to factories, there are some things you can do with it. Um, I think it's a preserve factory. One second, it should be here somewhere. Bakery, dairy, there. The preserved food factory, you can bring it there to preserve it and sell it for more money. Okay, does it take parsnips? Uh, yeah, it's there. Okay, the icon's there. Or we can do a soup factory. You can make soup with it and sell that for even more money. Okay, which is I recommend doing. But if you you know if you don't have four hundred thousand dollars, I guess you're not going to be doing that. So here I am at the place I told you. I'll quickly show you the map again. Okay, let's put it in there. We just got to drive up, and we should press I to called overload it. All right, so I pressed I, dumping her in, and you see my money going up, and a half a load got me nearly 2,000 bucks. So you can, if you have a full field, you can maybe make, like that full field that I had there could probably make around 30 grand. You can make a lot of money on root crops if you sell it. All right, and I'm not even selling out of the best selling time. Okay, so if this video helped you, please like it, leave a silly comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe to me.